my name is Katie Klotz and I went to Prospect Park. Hello, my name is Brian Barker. I attended Glen Ellen Elementary School. My name is Isabel Miller and I went to Tinicum for elementary school. Hi, my name is Rachel D. Dominicus and I went to Norwood Elementary School. Steve Russo, I went to St. James uh, Regional Catholic School. I'm Lauren Snow and I went to Tinicum. Connor Adams, I attended Glen Ellen Elementary School. Hi, I'm Joey Pitts from Prospect Park. I'm Luke Mathaja, I went to Norwood. My name is Abigail McFarlane and I attended Glen Ellen Elementary. I'm Billy Howland and I went to Norwood School. My name is Kathleen Peplo and I attended Glen Ellen Elementary School. I'm Virginia Gillespie and I went to Norwood School. I'm Lauren Oster and I went to Norwood. My fondest memory from Inner Row was probably homecoming court and homecoming, like the homecoming skits particularly. In the New York trip I went on for the language trip because it was just a lot of fun and I got a lot, do a lot of new things that I didn't do before. My fondest memory was probably going to the mini-thon and raising money for uh, kids with pediatric cancer. My fondest memory is probably nothing specific but just all the time I spent my friends and all the stuff I got involved with. My fondest memory at Interboro is all the friendships I've made th over the years. My fondest memory from Interboro had to be homecoming court, everything that went along with it. My fondest memory is when I went to Canada. My fondest memory at Interboro involves all the clubs I was in, all the activities we did. I have to say my fondest memory from Interboro is playing in sports and just being with the team all the time. My fondest memory from Interboro would have to be playing lacrosse all four years and winning Del Bay all three out of the four years. Running at the Penn Relays junior year. My eighth grade spelling bee. Rushing the field with the whole crowd after we won our senior act game for football. My fondest memory at Interboro would have to be participating in all of the arts programs. I just love performing and I love performing here. My proudest accomplishment it would probably be staying within the top ten of the class uh, all four years of high school. Uh, my proudest accomplishment would have to be one of the times we finished first in Delaware County in a 4x8 or the top 5% of the class. Placing third in the pie competition. Um, my proudest accomplishment was probably getting fours and fives on all my AP tests so far because I put a lot of hard work into getting that. Placing first in the county FBLA for accounting. Uh, my proudest accomplishment is remaining in NHS for two years. My proudest accomplishment during high school would probably have to either be beating AP to win the Del Val or getting a lead in the musical. I think my proudest accomplishment would be being a drum major, being in the top 5% and um, being inducted in National Honor Society. My proudest accomplishment during high school is graduating second in the class. My proudest accomplishment during high school would have to be graduating in the top 5% of the class because that was my goal since freshman year. Probably graduating as number one in the class. My proudest accomplishment is being in the top 5% of the class. My proudest accomplishment is qualifying for the National Bridge Building Competition through Physics Olympics. My favorite class that's a tough one. Um, my favorite class would probably be AP Economics. Miss Claire just had a way of breaking everything down, making the class interactive. Probably AP Literature um, with Miss Schnell. She's just, she's great. Creative writing because Mr. Herman made the class so enjoyable and comfortable. My favorite class was probably AP Lang and Comp because we learned how to write uh, different types of essays at a college level. My favorite class is probably art just because it's a really relaxing class and I still learn a lot from it and get better with my technique and everything that I do with it. Favorite class is Spanish, definitely. Um, I love Spanish. Uh, my favorite class at Interboro High School is probably Econ just because Miss Claire was a great teacher and I learned a lot. For APS history because Mac really just pushed me to just work hard. My favorite class at Interboro was AP Economics, what seemed most like a college course. My favorite class is either AP Bio or AP Physics because it's really challenging and I've learned a lot. My favorite class in Interboro High School had to be Forensic Science because I liked the way Miss Salisbury taught the class and she really helped me to guide me with what I wanted to do when I went to college. My favorite class is AP Calculus. Uh, my favorite class at IHS is AP Econ because it challenged me and made me develop a work ethic. My most influential teacher was Mrs. Venturini because she was very passionate about what she taught. I've had two really influential teachers. Um, Salerno because she really taught me how to write well for college and Cam because he teaches so much that's just so like important in life, not just schoolwork wise. Most influential teacher from Interboro is definitely Miss Claire. She broadened my horizon of what an AP class was. My most influential teacher would probably be my Latin teacher, Magistra Krauss, because just she's helped me through a lot and she's just like helped me learn like not to give up and do better with whatever you're doing. My most influential teacher was 
Mr. Bakey. He instilled a work ethic in all of us and he, he taught us not to give up no matter what. Uh, the most influential teacher that I had was probably Miss Claire because she taught you how to always uh, stay consistent with your work even when times were hard. Mick, because he showed what a rigid schedule can do and how to accomplish something if you really apply yourself to it. My most influential teacher was Miss Claire. She taught AP Economics and she made it feel like in the college course. My most influential teacher at IHS was Mrs. Venturini because her class made me interested in science and she challenged me during AP Physics. My most influential teacher is Miss Letty from middle school because she sparked my interest in science. Probably Miss Catino. Uh, she made me realize when she taught me freshman year and sophomore year that I wanted to be an English teacher. Probably Mr. Reichard. He was my math teacher the past two years and he really helped me figure out what I wanted to major in in college. The most influential teacher from Interboro has to be Mech because he just taught me a lot about things outside of school, not just the United States history. Um, my most influential teacher from uh, Interboro High School would have to be Miss Claire because she always believed in me and always pushed me to be the best that I could be. I plan to go to Penn State and major in accounting. My future plans are to attend sophomore college and major minor in computer science and environmental science. I plan to attend Cedar Crest College and study in forensic science. I plan to attend Westchester University and get a degree in computer science. My future plans are to attend Penn State and I'm undecided right now but I hope to decide soon. My future plans are to attend Elizabethtown College and major in uh, chemistry. Uh, I'll be attending University of the Sciences. Future plans, I am going to Temple University in the fall and I'm majoring in secondary education with a focus in English and I'm minoring in directing. I plan to go to Penn State University and major in actuarial science. I plan to attend Widener University majoring in environmental science. My future plans are to go to Drexel and major in biomedical engineering. Uh, I plan on attending Penn State University in the fall. Uh, I'm going to pursue a career in athletic training or physics and I'm going to attempt to walk onto the football team. State University of New York at Albany and I want to be a CIA agent, detective. My future plans, I will be attending Penn State main campus in the fall and majoring in accounting. My advice for incoming freshmen is to just get involved as much as you can and to just push through the workload because it's worth it in the end. Uh, advice is just like keep going and like not give up because it's going to get crazy but you got to keep going with it. My piece of advice for incoming freshmen would probably be to just take a chance if you're on the fence about doing something in high school. My advice to incoming freshmen would be to not stress over the little things. My advice for incoming freshmen is to get involved. It makes high school a lot more fun. My advice to incoming freshmen would be to not procrastinate and join all the clubs you can. Get involved and work hard. Calm down. When I got here, I was a hot mess, freaking out about classes. It's really not that deep. Take a breath, it'll be fine, it goes super fast. My advice for an incoming freshman would be to definitely get involved and to join as many things as you possibly can. My advice to freshmen would be to make sure they get involved in activities in the school and have a balance between friendship and school. Be involved, definitely make friends. Friends, man, I wouldn't know what to do without my friends. And teachers, be nice to teachers. Uh, find a balance between work and friends because if not, you'll be overwhelmed by your schoolwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. Stick to the right when you walk in the hallways. <laughs> <laughs>